President, please be seated. President, please be seated. Ong Jun Rapaka Mato, Katamaka, and the Tisamaka, Samaka, and the Samaka. The Chamber will hear testimony of witness to TCW 9 to 8 in relation to the treatment of the Cham people. And before uh, we proceed, the chamber would like to inform all the parties that uh, for today's uh, proceedings, Judge Yotra, who is the uh, national judge, is absent for personal reasons. And after judges of the bench deliberated the matter, we Decide to replace Judge Jutra by Judge Trumani, who is currently a reserve judge. He will sit in Judge Jutra's place until Judge Jutra is able to return to the bench. This is pursuant to Rule 79.4 of the ECCC Internal Rules. And the uh, national international reserve judge Korobkin is absent for health reasons today. Korobkin is absent for reasons of health today. Ms. Chie Su Huang, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Gravity, Mr. President. For today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, except Madame Marie Giro, the international lead co-lawyer, who is absent for personal reasons. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffe. A witness who is to testify today, that is to TCW 928, confirms that to the best of his knowledge, <coughs> he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is no G and T or some porn, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will swear before the chamber, according to his religion, we also have a, a reserve witness today, that is through TCW 894, and this witness confirms that through his best knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is no G and Kiel Sumpon, or to any other civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will talk, take an oath this morning before the Iron Club Statue. President, thank you, Ms. Chi Su Huang. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chi. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chi, dated 13 January 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 13 January 2016 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at ECCC, Dated 13 January 2016, which notes that uh, Nunji has chronic back pain when he sits for long, and he also feels dizziness, and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nunji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. The Chamber instructed every unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can follow. This applies to the whole day. Court officer, please usher the witness into the courtroom. Veuillez faire entrer le témoin dans le prétoire.
Sutray lok Sutray sa say ta lok Sutray Good morning Madam witness President, what Madame is your Madame name Bonjour quel est votre nom Witness Témoin. my name is Matso Matso et mon nom President President when you are summoned uh, your full name is Votre Ahmad Sophia. Nom complet est is Ahmad that your Sophia name or you are another person? La citation à comparer. Est-ce que c'est bien votre nom ou est-ce que c'est le nom de quelqu'un d'autre Because mm. my full name is uh, rather long, so I shorten it. C'est pourquoi je l'ai raccourci. To Matso. Je l'ai raccourci pour uh, le nom de Matso. President, thank you. President, je vous remercie. And have you ever been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the ECCC? Answer, yes. I was interviewed in Kampong Chan. Question, and when you were interviewed, which name that you gave to the investigator? Answer, it was Ahmad Sophia. Ahmad Sophia. Question, and uh, what is the reason for Question. you to uh, shorten the, your Pourquoi name from Ahmad Sophia to Matso? Answer, because my full name is difficult to uh, pronounce, and that is the reason that I shorten voilà it to uh, Matso. Question. Question. Do you have a my identity card? Maybe you obtained Khmer? this card uh, during the last few years. The années. government actually provides the my identity card Le to the residents, like Khmer, Khmer and Cham people in Cambodia. Have you obtained Khmer one? Cham, en une? Answer yes, I do. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. And uh, what is your official name on the identity card? Sur cette carte and sir, so I Réponse. use Matso as my name. Matso comme nom. President, thank you then, uh, Madame Matso. Bien, Madame and Matso. do you recall when you were born? Vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? And. Réponse. I was born in 1961. Je suis né en 1961. Question. Question. Is that correct that you said you were born in 1961? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Question. And where were Question. you born? Et où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born in Ksakproche, Kondal, village. Je suis né dans le village de Ksakproche, Kondal. Question, and in which commune, district, Question, or province? Question, et quelle province? est la commune, le district et la province de ce village? I was born in Ksakproche, Kondal, village, Krochma, commune, Krochma, district, Kampung Cham, province, which is now Tabong Khmum province. province de Tabong President, Khmum. Uh, where President. is your current address? Et où est votre adresse actuelle? Answer. Presently, I live in Ksai Proche, Kondal, village, Krochma commune, Krochma district, Tabong Khmum province. Question. What is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Answer, I am a rice farmer. Réponse, je suis rizicultrice. Question, what are the names Question. of your parents? Quels sont les noms de vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father is Matt Saul. Mon père s'appelle Matt Saul. 
And my mother is ma mère Nop So. S'appelle Nop So. And what is your husband's name and how Question many children do you have? De votre mari et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My husband is Sofmat. Mon mari and se we nomme have nine children. Et nous avons neuf enfants. We have nine children all together. Nous avons neuf enfants au total. President, thank you, uh, Madame Matso. The greffier made an le oral report that to your Madame best Matso, knowledge. You are not related to my blood or by law to any of the two accused. That is, no G and Q support or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is this information correct? Answer yes, it is correct. Réponse, oui, exact. Question and Madame Matso, what Madame is Matso, your religion? religion? Answer I am an Réponse, Islamic believer. Je suis musulmane. President, thank you. President, merci. And the grave is a Ji Huang. You instructed to lead the witness for a swearing. You may proceed with the with it. Grave Madame witness. Madame le témoin. And I proceed with the swearing words. Please place your hand on the Holy Quran before you. I will read out the swearing words Et and please repeat after me. Que vous après moi. I would like to answer only Je the truth ne que la from what I witness. De ce heard, dont été témoin, know, de ce que and entendu, remember. De ce que je sais et de ce dont je me In the name of an Islamic believer, en tant que who have only Allah as God, and Muhammad as Allah's messenger, que Mohammed, and the Holy Quran, tout guide à suivre que le Coran, as the uh, guideline for me to follow. I would like to swear Je in front of the Holy Quran Wallahi Billahi, Wallahi Billahi, which verify that attest or what I am going to say is true. President, thank you, Ms. Ji Siu Huang. The Chamber now would like to uh, inform you, Madame Witness, of your right and uh, obligation. Madame Matso, as a Madame witness Matso, in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. As for your obligations, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you as the Chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or a party posed to you. And uh, Madame Matso, have you been interviewed by Matso, investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? Déjà été if so, par les how many times, when, and where? Si oui, de fois, quand et où? 
witness. I was requested for an interview for one time in Kampung Cham, and I was interviewed twice in Trier village. Questioned. Question. Before you appear before the chamber, Avant have you read, reviewed, or have them read out to you? I refer to the three written records of your interviews that you provided to the investigators in order to refresh your memory. And uh, I have not uh, read them all, Réponse, but my husband read, uh, lu, read them aloud to me, and I can recall parts of those uh, uh, statements, as it happened uh, a long time ago. Car, uh, Question. Your husband read those statements out to you. Votre mari vous Do the statements reflect the words that you used when you were interviewed by investigators at uh, Kampong Cham and in Kampong Trier Cham village? Are the written records uh, consistent with what uh, you said? Answer. Réponse. Uh, some are accurate and some are Certains not really accurate, exact, but rather uh, consistent. Exact, mais relativement cohérent. President, pursuant to Rule 91 B of the ECCC, the Chamber hands the floor first to the co prosecutors to put the questions before other parties, and the combined time for the co prosecutors and the lead co lawyers for civil parties is two sessions. And the Deputy National Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Co prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. My name is Seng Ling. I am a national deputy co-prosecutor. Good morning, Madam Witness. I have some questions to put to you. And again, good morning, Madam Witness. My first line of questions is the following. I'd like to ask you about uh, where you were before the arrival of uh, the Khmer Rouge in your uh, commune. Can you tell the chamber where were you living? Answer. Réponse. When the uh, Khmer Rouge entered my area, I was Lorsque in the cooperative working in the rice fields. Question. Question. Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? Do you recall when the Khmer Rouge came to control your area? I understand that uh, this event happened a long time ago. Je comprends que c'est un événement qui a eu lieu il y a très longtemps. Can you please try to uh, recall uh, the uh, date or the year again? Was it in 1978, 1975, or maybe earlier than that? Ou peut-être même avant. Answer. Réponse. No, uh, they were not there in 1975, but they were non, in 
I would like you to try to remember again the because the Khmer Rouge regime started from the 17th April 1975 and lasted on the 6th of January 1979. So please uh, try to think again as to which year the Khmer Rouge came to control your area. quelle année les Khmer Rouge ont pris le contrôle de votre région, de l'endroit où vous étiez. President witness, please observe Président, the microphone. Le témoin, attendez que le microphone soit allumé pour parler. President, National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please uh, repeat your last question and please uh, try to simplify your questions. It seems that uh, the witness does not have a, a greater uh, knowledge Maybe she is not uh, that pas well educated. De you may probably, it probably is better for you to uh, actually mention a year. And if you ask for uh, her lengthy comment, uh, maybe she si doesn't understand that. Deputy Co Prosecutor, thank you, uh, Mr. President. And Madame Witness. Madame le témoin. Do you know when the lunar regime fell? Savez-vous quelle est la date de la chute du régime de l'ONOL? And uh, no, I cannot recall that. Réponse. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Can you tell the chamber Question. where you were when the Khmerus came to dire, take control of your area? Vous vous étiez les Khmer Rouge ont pris le contrôle des environs. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was in Sachchekandal, Sachchekandal, and later on, I was uh, evacuated. Et par la suite, j'ai été évacué. Question. Question. Allow me to uh, try again uh, regarding uh, the year. C'est moi essayer à nouveau de vous poser des questions. Between 1970 and 1975, where did you live? Où habitiez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I was in Ksai village, Kochman Kochman commune. commune de Kochman. Question. Question. And between 70 to 1975, did the Khmer Rouge come to control, come to control your area? And uh, yes, they did. Réponse, oui. And we were evacuated to Krochma area. Vers and I was uh, relocated to three to village. Transféré, transféré Actually, village their plan de was uh, to, to kill us. Et leur plan était so, de question. Question. so you mean that between 1970 and 75, the Khmer Rouge already occupied your area? Is that correct? Déjà les alentours de là où vous habitiez. Exact. Answer, yes, that's oui. correct. C'est exact. Question. Could you tell the chamber Question. that between 1970 chambre, and 75, si how many families lived in Ksat village? dire plutôt combien de familles vivaient Answer. Ksat entre 70 et 75? 
I réponse. did not know how many families lived Je in the village because at that time I was very young. Car à l'époque j'étais très jeune. Question. Question. To refresh your memory, I will read from a document. Je vais citer un document afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. It is E3. C'est le document E3. 5194. The written record. Il s'agit du procès verbal d'audition. From the office of the co-investigating judge in the on in Khmer is 0020 and in English etc. it is 0074706 and in French 0026883 in that document you said that you were born in Sacre Chakandal and at that time you were 14 years old when the Khmer Rouge arrived and you were still studying at that time and the Khmer Rouge ordered you to stop studying. So what I just read to you, can it refresh your recollection? Answer, yes, it's Réponse. his, it was like what you just read. Que vous venez de dire. Question, Question, a little bit earlier you told the presiding judge tôt, that you were born juge, in 1960, is that correct? It's exact. Answer, Réponse. No, I, I said that I was born. Dit que né en... uh, I, I was not clear about the year I was born. Maybe in 1961. Question. If you were born Question. in 1961, so when you turned 14, à 14 ans, It means that when the Khmer Rouge arrived in your area, it was in 1973. Cela so, dire que les so donc is this correct? Sont dans les environs, en 1973, si vous aviez 14 ans à exact? Answer. I'm not réponse. quite sure about this because I certain. was young at that time. Jeune à l'époque. And question. question. So from my calculation, it should be in 1975 when the Khmer Rouge arrived in your area. Où vous Answer. Réponse. I'm not quite sure Je about this certain. point. Question. question. It is all right. Madame Witness. Grave, now I will ask you about the situation before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge and after the arrival of the Khmer Rouge. Avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouge et après. Before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge Donc, in your village. Avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouge dans votre village. Could you tell us about the living conditions of Cham people in your Ksak Prachekandal village? village de Ksak Prachekandal. President, Madame Witness, please hold on. Madame the floor now is given to Council Victor Gope. You may now proceed. 
la défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Juge. J'écoute les questions du coprocureur national. Je ne vois pas vraiment ce qu'il ce qu entend par l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges. Dans cet endroit, il semble que, tant en 1970, que le FUNC a pris le contrôle de cette zone et qu'en 1975, bien évidemment, le régime de Nol est tombé. Donc, de poser la question au témoin de demander quand les Khmer sont arrivés est complètement faux au point de vue historique, mais cela porte aussi à confusion. Si l'on parle de ce district ou de cet endroit où vivait le témoin, le co-procureur adjoint cambodgien devrait faire preuve d'un peu plus de rectitude au point de vue historique. National Co-Deputy Group Prosecutor, thank you for your comments. Now I will rephrase my question. Je vais reformuler la question. Because the witness found it difficult to remember the Le exact de, date la difficulté à se when de la date. the Lunol regime collapsed and du régime de when the Khmer Rouge regime started to take control of her area. Aussi, That's why Rouge, I faced some de là où elle challenges in asking about the specific date sujet, for au sujet the facts. Précises. President, le since you faced with this kind of challenges, that's why Council Victor Cope asked you to rephrase the questions que Cope vous a and vos questions. Uh, be specific on the specific time when the political development in the country took place. Because when, if you talk about the Khmer Rouge, it's so broad. Quand on parle the des Rouges, communist ça raté, un peu party started from 1951. So, dès if you talk about the Khmer Rouge regarding the temporal donc, si aspect, Rouges, it's so broad. So you need to refer to you need to ask specific questions that refer to specific temporal aspects of the Khmer Rouge regime. So we need quand on parle du régime Khmer Rouge. Be careful with our questions because we don't have much time in, the, time in this proceeding. Uh, Mr. 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 National Co-Deputy Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Now I will rephrase my question. Je vais reformuler ma question. I will specify the time Et je frame des dates précises. to the witness. Madame witness, could Madame you please tell us that between 1970 to 1975, how many jam families lived in the village? Dans le village entre 1970 et 1975? Answer. Réponse. At that time, people in my village were all evacuated. Tous les gens de mon village ont été évacués. Question. Madame Witness, Question. I ask you the Madame time témoin, period between 1970 and 1975. Entre 1970 et 1975. That is before the 17th April, 1975. Avril 1975. I just want to know how many jam families living in your village. Answer. Réponse. At that time, the Cham families were all evacuated away from the village, and village. I could not remember clearly what year it took pas place. De de cet Question. Question. You said that the Cham family had already been evacuated away from the village. Could you tell us? what year it happened. Answer. I was too young to remember the time when they were evacuated. Question. 
I have a number of other questions to pose to you. Between 1970 to 1975, villagers in your village, particularly the Cham people, what were their occupation? Answer. They were evacuated away and we faced suffering. Question. Question. At that time, were the Cham people allowed to speak Cham language or wore Cham clothes or practice Cham tradition between 1970 to 1975? Answer. I could not remember the year, Je ne me pas de but we were ordered to cut our Mais hair short, de couper nos cheveux. and nos cheveux the, our religious practices were abolished. Et on a aboli nos pratiques religieuses. Question. Question. Before the evacuation of people from your village, Avant que les habitants de votre village aient été évacués, did they allow the Cham people to speak Cham language, wear Cham clothes, Cham de or la practice Cham, de Cham, porter les vêtements Cham religion, et religions? la religion Cham? Answer. Réponse. No, non. they did not allow us to ne practice ne Cham religion. De, de We all religion. were ordered to wear nous Black avons reçu closed. l'ordre de porter des vêtements noirs. Tout le monde. Question. Question. From the time when the Cham people were evacuated from your village. À partir du moment où les Cham ont été évacués de votre village. Was the living condition of Cham people better than before or? Les se sont-elles améliorées? Had the au passé? No. Answer. When we were evacuated from the village, we were ordered to grow cane tree, and we ate sugar cane tree, and we ate only porridge, and the living condition was very difficult. Les conditions étaient très difficiles. Question. Question. Did they allow the Cham people to speak Cham language or wear Cham clothes? Answer. No. no. We were ordered to speak Khmer language. And regarding the clothes, it's also the same like other people. Question. Question. What about religion did they allow you to practice your religion de pratiquer votre religion answer no no question were the cham women allowed to keep their hair long les femmes cham avaient-elles le droit de garder les cheveux longs Answer, no. no. We were all ordered to On cut our hair short. Se couper les cheveux courts. Question. Question. Now we turn to the, the time during the Lunol regime. Je vais parler de l'époque du régime de Lunol. Were people in your village allowed to speak Cham language, wear Cham clothes, or practice Cham religion, or Cham women were allowed to keep their hair long? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was very young. À l'époque, j'étais très jeune. But as far as I can remember, Mais, we were allowed to wear our traditional clothes and keep our hair long. Les long. Question. Question. So you mean that during the 
démocratique Cambodge régime que sous le régime du Cambodge démocratique between 1970 correction between 1975 and 1979 the living condition of the Cham people changed is that correct is bien le cas Answer. Réponse. I could not get your question. Could you please repeat your question? President. Le président. National co-deputy prosecutor. Could you please rephrase your question and be more specific and precise about your question? Because I think your question is a little bit vague. National Co-Deputy Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Witness, I would like you to compare the living condition of Cham people during the Luno regime and during the Democratic Cambodia regime, whether the living condition of the Cham people became harder or what? Answer. Yes, sir, during the Khmer Rouge oui, regime, life was difficult. Rouges, la vie était difficile. Question. Question. Now I turn to the sub another subject related to Nous the evacuation of people from your village. L'évacuation des villageois. Do you remember when the people from your village were evacuated away? What month or year it was? Village, en quel mois, en quel mois, quelle année? Answer, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you Réponse. what year or month it je was je ne peux pas vous donner because the situation at that time was so confusing. Il À l'époque, la situation était très confuse. Question. After people from Question. Cham, people from your village were evacuated away, Après que ait évacué les were Cham, Cham votre people village. from other village evacuated into your village? A-t-on transféré des Cham d'autres villages dans le vôtre? No. Réponse. Non. No, there weren't. There were only Khmer people. Il n'y brought into my village. Qui ont été transférés dans mon village. Question. Question. After the evacuated after the evacuation of people from vo from your village, could Après you tell us how many Cham family village, were there at that time? Restait? Answer. Réponse. No, I I did not know how many families there were at that time. Question. 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 Do you, are you familiar with this name? Elle s'appelle No Sata. Connaissez-vous ce nom? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I know oui, No Sata. Oui, je connais No Sata. Now she lives in Swai Clan. Aujourd'hui, elle habite à Swai Clan. Question. Question. Did she live in your village? Vivait-elle dans votre village? Did she live with you in your village after the evacuation, or, 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 or she lived somewhere else? Ou vivait -elle ailleurs? Answer. Réponse. Yes, she was in my mobile unit. Oui, elle était dans mon unité mobile. And then we were all evacuated to Trier Two. Et nous avons tous été that was the place where they had a plan to kill us. C'est là qu'il y avait le plan de nous exterminer. <coughs> Question. Question. You said that you were assigned to work in the mobile unit. Could you mobile. tell us when it was? Pouvez-vous nous dire où cette unité était? Answer. 
réponse. Je ne me souviens pas I du remember mois ou de l'année. Je me souviens simplement que quand les Khmers sont arrivés, je me souviens quand les Khmers sont arrivés. Parents and I was assigned to work in the mobile unit for the whole regime. Unité mobile pendant tout le régime. Question. Thank you for your answer. Merci de cette réponse. Now I have another question related to the arrival of the Southwest cadre in your village. Do you still remember the event of their arrival? Vous souvenez-vous de cet événement? Vous souvenez-vous de leur arrivée? Answer. Réponse. No, I cannot remember the months or the year when they came. Je ne me souviens pas du mois ou de l'année quand ils sont arrivés. I knew that the Southwest cadre came in and. But I could not remember the months and the years. Mais je ne me souviens pas de l'année ou du mois. Question. Question. You said that you knew the arrival of the Southwest cadre in your village, but you you could not remember the time when they arrived. Mais vous ne vous souvenez pas de quand. Could you tell us that before the arrival of the Southwest cadres? Si. And if we compare the situation after their arrival. Considère la situation avant leur arrivée. Was the living situation, the living condition of Cham people, prevalait après? Became more difficult or became more oppressed than before their arrival? A-t-elle été des Cham plutôt? Les Cham a-t-elle été plus difficile? Answer. Les Cham ont-ils été plus opprimés par la suite? It became more difficult. Oui, c'est devenu plus difficile. We faced a lot of Suffering and hardship. Question. Question. Could you tell us how hard it was? Pouvez-vous nous le décrire? Answer. It's. It's difficult in all aspects, including eating and other things. Il était difficile sous And plusieurs aspects. We were Manger, from our parents. etc. Et nous étions séparés de nos parents aussi. Question. When the Southwest cadre arrived, Question. Quand les cadres du Sud-Ouest sont arrivés, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont fait pour identifier qui étaient Cham et qui étaient Cham et qui était Khmer And, sir, Réponse. President, Madame Witness, le please hold on. Le témoin, veuillez attendre. The chamber now give the floor to the defense counsel for Kiu Sampon. You may now proceed. Vous avez la parole. Oui, bonjour, M. Yes, le Président. Merci. Je suis obligé d'intervenir à ce stade. Là, on a une série de questions directives. Uh, là, je pense qu'il faut quand même que so le, 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 le procureur fasse un effort de faire des questions ouvertes. To put open questions to, la dernière uh, the question the last contenait question la réponse du témoin dans, dans, dans la formulation. Included, uh, in the way it was formulated. National Co-Deputy Prosecutor, Mr. President, I only asked the question about the methods that the Khmer Rouge cadre used to identify who were the Cham and who were the Khmer. I did not ask her to give the answer yes or no. President. The objection by the defense counsel for Mr. Kusumpon is overruled. Madam Witness, you can answer this question if you can remember. Otherwise, the National Co-Deputy Prosecutor, you can rephrase your question. Prosecutor, Madam Witness, could you tell the chamber 
What were the methods that the Southwest cadre used to identify who were Khmer people and who were Cham people? Answer. Réponse. At that time, we were evacuated to three P, and they asked us who were Cham, who were Khmer. So we were asked when we were. When we arrive at Trier B, en fait, on nous a posé la question lorsque nous sommes arrivés à Trier B. La juge Fens. Je pense qu'il y a peut-être un petit problème en euh, d'interprétation, car euh, en anglais, hear? la question est tout à fait légitime. Je ne sais pas ce que oh, vous sorry. entendez. Am I on? Can I be heard? Est-ce qu'on m'entend? Yeah. Uh, in English, the question is perfect. The question asked. La was perfectly open. Qu posé, there was no direction of a leading question. Pas, so perhaps there is an interpretation issue. Que un de no, no je, je, I don't believe that it's a problem que, of interpretation. Uh, avant, it is that before uh, de question de he put, séparés, putting the question de, about how the people were separated, I did not hear uh, the witness speak uh, about a separation between the Cham and the Khmer. So the question arrived a little bit too quickly. But I see that this does not pose a problem to anyone, so therefore I will sit down again. But however, I believe that uh, when you put questions to someone, there should be a logical pathway. President, the Chamber already objected the objection by the, co by the defense counsel for Kiel Sampon. This is the decision that the chamber already chamber made. National co-deputy prosecutor, Madame Witness, Madame I would like to read a document, vous citer un document. from E3 uh, 500 30.1, which came from the hearing of the testimony by a witness named Nosata. At 1354, President Council Kong Samon. La défense. President, thank you. Le président, Co prosecutor, merci. could you please uh, repeat le co the document number? Le numéro du document. If you use English, please use in English. Si vous le dites en anglais, dites-le en anglais. If you use in Khmer, si please read in Khmer. Please do not mix them together. Ne pas mélanger l'anglais et le Khmer. Co-prosecutor, there is confusion in this matter. Is E one slash three hundred and fifty point one? It is at. 15 Donc, hour, 54 minutes, 46 seconds, Eon in Khmer, 0, 1, 5, 3, 2, 9, 4. I do not have its Eon in English, and I would like to quote the Southwest Cadre Order the Les local people to gather the people. To rassembler les gens. The village chief came Le to chef identify who were Cham people. Qui était Cham. They ordered the village chief to report village to the southwest cadre. De faire son rapport au cadre du sud -ouest. And the district chief ordered chef de to make the statistic of who were Cham and met list and de report the list to them. Faire une liste et de leur so, cette liste. end of quote, free translation. So, based on my reading, do you have any 
reactions. Pouvez-vous réagir à ce que je viens de vous lire? And so, yes, uh, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Uh, President, uh, hold on, Deputy Co-Prosecutor and Counsel Antakouze, you have the floor. Monsieur le Président, je suis encore obligé d'objecter à la manière dont vous procédez, euh, Monsieur le Co-Procureur, au lieu de demander au témoin ce qui s'est passé, comment les choses se sont passées, correctement lui demandant comment les gens se sont rassemblés, etc., il se contente de faire citer, euh, de citer euh, un autre témoin et de demander à, à, au témoin de réagir. Euh, ce n'est pas une bonne façon de procéder. Si cette personne-là est venue témoigner, elle peut témoigner de ce qu'elle sait. Et on doit lui poser des questions ouvertes et non pas la mourir de déclaration d'un autre témoin. President. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you may uh, misunderstand. In fact, uh, such a proceeding is allowed. However, the information in a statement of another witness, you cannot put it straight to the current witness. You need first to ask a question on that topic, and after that, You can put a statement of another witness and ask her to react if they are from the same area or liver uh, of the same uh, time uh, period. And as uh, the witness testified, her situation it was uh, rather different from the situation of the witness whose statement that you quoted. So for that reason, uh, what you did is a bit far from our current practice. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you, uh, Mr. President. In the interest of time, I now move to another subject. Uh, Madame Witness, a while ago, I asked you whether you were assigned to uh, work in a mobile unit, and you said uh, yes. Is my understanding correct? And said so, yes, it is correct. Question. Can you recall when you returned to Ksite Prochekandal village? Vous souvenez-vous du moment où vous êtes revenu au village de Ksa Prochekandal? And so I did a return to the Réponse. village. Je suis revenu au village. But I cannot recall the months of the G. Mais However, by the time I returned, my Ceci parents étant. had been collected and placed in a location not to be killed. I myself was re relocated to Tria through a village for the purpose of being killed. Dans le village de Tria afin Question. When you Question. returned to your village, what did Lorsque you observe? À votre village, remarqué? What was your observation of the number of the Cham families still remained Combien in your village? Combien de familles Cham restaient-ils dans votre village d'après ce que vous avez pu observer? And so, no, I cannot recall that. 
because uh, no, je ne my pas. I was part of a mobile unit and when I returned I could only stay for a night then we were divided into a male ensuite, group and female group and my parents were gathered up to be sent away to be killed while I myself was sent to Trier village and they actually planned to kill us all. Question. Question. How long after your arrival in your Après village were you village, called uh, to be relocated to Trier village? Combien de temps s'est avant que vous ne soyez appelé à être transféré au village de Trier? Answer. It was uh, three Question. days after. C'était trois jours après mon arrivée. Question. Question. And did you know the uh, cadre who actually instructed you to relocate in Trier village? Where were you, you called to Où été before you uh, were sent to Trier village? Was a meeting held where such information was uh, informed? And so, uh, no, uh, there was no uh, meeting held. After the parents uh, were sent away, Après we from the mobile unit uh, were instructed to relocate to Trier village and we were instructed to live in a house where there were armed guards there. Question. Let me backtrack a little bit uh, before you were sent there. Avant que vous ne soyez were all the family members in your family sent to Trier Village or how were you divided up? Whether Comment you were sent to Trier while other members of your family were sent elsewhere? Answer, yes, I can do that. Oui, je peux After faire ça. I returned from the uh, mobile unit, je suis de mobile, my brothers and my father were called et mon to père be sent, and there was the first batch. And on the second day, pour être ça a we, été une the women, were sent, ensuite, and they said that the male group was sent first in order to uh, prepare houses for us, the women. Pour nous des maisons, afin que nous and later on, we said that for uh, tard, members of the mobile unit, uh, they did not to go there, but we had to go to three uh, a village. In fact, we were told to uh, Kossam Rao, but we were not sent to Kossam Rao, but to three to a village. Question. Question. When you were sent to three a village, how many of you were sent at that time? Combien étiez-vous à y être envoyé en même temps? And uh, there were about 30 people who were placed uh, in the that house. Il y avait à peu près une and uh, de we were all jammed. Question. I don't understand uh, your response. You Je said that uh, there was a house full of uh, people. Vous dites Whose house are you referring to? De gens. Mais de quelle maison parlez-vous? Answer. I said that we were uh, placed in a house, that is, we uh, members uh, of the mobile unit were placed in a house, and there were about 30 of us. And that house uh, was the kind of a detention house or detention place. Here I refer to uh, 30 members from the mobile unit, not the 30 uh, members of my family. Question. And can you recall what time you arrived in uh, Tria village? Answer. It was uh, around 4 o'clock uh, when we arrived. Il était quatre heures However, nous this arrivés. is uh, uh, approximate only as we did Mais not have any watch uh, to refer to. Question. Question. 
If you are not sure about uh, the time, si was it uh, time that when you arrived, or oh, there was still a daylight si left? Il faisait encore jour, si le And so no, it was not uh, really dark yet. And when we were there, uh, it was uh, not yet uh, the the dark, the night time, and I saw them sharpen their knife. Et je les ai vus affûter leur couteau. Question, upon your first arrival in Trier village, what were you instructed to do? Answer. Réponse. We were uh, told to uh, go up uh, to uh, that house. On nous a dit d'aller dans cette maison. Then they closed the windows Ensuite, and ils ont fermé uh, the les door. Ils ont fermé les portes. And we, about uh, 30 of us, were detained nous, on that house. Donc 30 personnes étions détenues à l'intérieur de cette maison. And there were uh, some of them who were staying adjacent uh, or next to the house where we were detained Et and they were armed. Qui dans, we were qui not allowed to uh, étions, get out of armés, that house. Pas le droit de de cette Question. 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 Can you tell the chamber what happened next? And so, when the night uh, was about to fall, Lorsque they stripped uh, some pieces tomber, of uh, cloth, and they went up the house, and they requested, they de actually tissu, instructed us uh, to be tied up. The 30 of us did not know uh, how to react. We only looked at each other faces and kept quiet. Nous, we nous could not do regardés, anything. And then they regardés, simply tied us all up. Et nous ont tous attachés, tout simplement. Question. How many of them who uh, went up to that house de did they dans la ask you uh, any question? Vous ont posé des questions? And so, yes, they did uh, ask uh, us uh, questions. Oui, ils nous ont posé des questions. Actually, before they uh, tied us up, they uh, sharpened en fait, their knives. Avant de nous attacher, and ils then ont they uh, spoke to each et other ensuite, that uh, tonight we have a lot of soir, big pigs, so we have to sharpen our knives. Later on, they, they made strips couteaux. from cloth. Ensuite, they went up the house and instructed us to be uh, tied up. Et a été donnée de I nous was a pretty uh, small then, and then they they asked, they shouted whether everyone was uh, tied up. Et ils ont demandé si tout le monde était bien attaché. And then I said I was not tied up Mais yet. Dit que je pas they noticed bien that, and then ils l'ont remarqué. They said that I. Uh, was a good girl. Et ils ont dit que of course, I did not know where I would uh, flee through because they were all armed, Bien and sûr, there was another group of armed people outside. Il y avait à un autre groupe de Question. Question. Did they ask, the, ask you and other Cham people questions? Vous ont posé à vous and if so, what were those questions? questions? Si oui, President's microphone is not on. Le microphone du président n'est pas allumé. President, uh, it is now appropriate for a short break. We take a break now and return at 10:30 to resume our proceedings. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties, and invite her back into the courtroom at 10:30.